Hi, and welcome to the show. This is family friendly. <clears throat> this week, something happened that was unprecedented. Something no one believed could happen. Something incredible and unheard of. I ate a salad. Yes, it's unbelievable, but I did it. I won't lie to you. It was hard and at some point I was very scared, but I did it. I did it! Oh, and Kim and Donald met. Yeah. Dictator versus idiot. But that salad is a big step for me. And for you guys. For you. I did it for you. To stop seeing this. Hi, and welcome to 3 Minute John. And now, the news. Flash news. Was that? Microsoft puts a data center at the bottom of the sea and near the coast in order to reduce costs and become more environmental friendly. It's called Project Natic, and if it proves to be effective in the next year, your data will be stored under the sea. Apple has banned cryptocurrency mining on iOS devices over concerns that crypto mining might drain battery life of mobile devices. Phones and tablets are not very good at mining, but that didn't stop people from using them in order to get some digital currencies. Now, Apple has put an end to it, and by doing so, the Bitcoin price dropped under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Under the BlackBerry branding, the Chinese company TCL, who bought the commercial rights, launched the BlackBerry Key 2. And keeping the tradition, it has physical keys. Yeah! Is anyone excited about this? Chuck? Oh. Anyone? Anyone? Come on! Somebody has to be excited. Hello? Mom? Are you excited about the BlackBerry... No? Okay, okay, love you. S send, send pancakes, please. Okay, love, bye. No one's excited about this. Okay, let's drop it then. Under the sea. A true bezel-less phone. No, 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 no. No more. After the whole Lenovo fiasco last week, I lost all trust in promises. I want to see it first. Well, they kind of showed it at the Mobile World Congress in February. It's called Nex, it's made by Vivo, and is based on Apex, the impressive concept phone that Vivo presented at the MWC. But this time they will make it, and it will be bezel-less. No, 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 no. Still a skeptic right here. What about the earpiece speaker? What about the front selfie camera? They will notch it! Mark my words, they will notch that phone. Well, instead of an earpiece speaker, Vivo has made... Uh... Glass vibrating screen sound casting technology. That sounds more impressive than a french fried pepperoni pizza. And the selfie camera pops out of the front edge only when you use it. Wow. That's so smart. Smarter than the guy that invented the quadruple cheeseburger. Sorry, I'm kinda hungry. <laughs> Only had a salad. And by doing so, the screen to body ratio is at 91.24% compared to the 82.9% that the iPhone X has. But it doesn't stop there because the next has some pretty sweet specs. Sweet like a cinnamon waffle with a chocolate hazelnut ice cream. It has in-display fingerprint sensor, Snapdragon 845 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 4000 milliamp battery, 256 gigabytes of storage, a 6.59 OLED display, a dual main camera with 12 and 5 megapixel sensors, the pop-up selfie cam has 8 megapixel, and... A headphone jack! Oh yeah, boy! The jack is back, boy! Mm, the jack is still strong, boy! Mm. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. This is the phone, man. I'm sorry I didn't believe at first. I'm sorry, but now I do. I do. This is the best. Vivo! 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 It will cost $780, which is the equivalent of 5,000 yen, because it's only gonna be available in China. Vivo! 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 Mother f I knew it. I knew it! I'm not gonna believe anyone anymore! You f Vivo with your f Chinese phone is not gonna be the f 
Well, net neutrality is kaput. Since Monday, June 11th, net neutrality has died in America. So this means the ISPs will have total control over the internet speeds of the Americans. Agent Pai, the FCC chairman, FCC stands for f corrupt f sucker. I add an extra C. You see? He says that people are going to love the death of net neutrality because nothing is going to change. Really? Then why the hell would you kill it? The repeal of net neutrality does nothing good for the internet consumers. For the ISPs, it's a whole different thing though. Because now they can charge you extra cash in order to access certain streaming services or social medias at a decent speed. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! Of course, the ISPs won't do this immediately and prove that Agent Pi is a big SOB, but rest assured, it will happen, people won't be happy, and Agent Pi is a big SOB. Even though net neutrality is dead, FCC is being challenged in court by state attorney general and tech companies, but I don't really know if they'll be able to resurrect it, at least not under the idiot's administration. I'm gonna say one thing, fuck Trump. And now, the third song I wrote for Agent. I hope this doesn't turn into an album. <laughs> hey, Agent Pie Everybody hopes you die You took away that neutrality so suck a f you face idiot beaver looking mother you This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't leave us a comment below. I'm John until next week. Keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Yeah, I, I don't have a skit for the ending. I know I usually have, but this time I didn't have any ideas for the, the song was nice though. I'm just gonna stay here a little bit more. <sighs> I'm gonna stay here. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna sing you something that I am professing now! Ah, share this with your friends! I know I'm annoying, but sometimes you gotta be like that!